red. Howdy from Texas, this is Heath Hip with Bugs Fishing. I had a customer ask me a question earlier about tipping bonefish jigs. He went on a bonefish trip to Belize. It was the first time he'd ever fished for bonefish and he ended up tipping his jigs. So what does that mean? Tipping a jig means putting a piece of live or most likely dead bait onto your jig or a little piece of gulp to make it more likely for you to catch fish. And so I'll tell you what the customer said he did and then I'll tell you, I'll give you some tips on how to do it. So the customer said he you, was using a loco bug. That's one of our best jigs for bonefish. And he took a two inch gulp shrimp and he cut a piece off of it and tipped a loco bug with that. And he said it worked. He said he caught several bonefish on it. He was very happy. And so that's something that that customer did, but a loco bug isn't really designed to make that easy. Um, a loco bug is designed to fish by itself um, and it's not easy to tip. So if you are gonna tip one of your bonefish jigs, I have two recommendations, either the puff bug or the flats bug. And I'm gonna show you the flats bug first. The flats bug comes with a two inch grub on the back. And so you can fish it like that. But the top piece of rabbit slips off the hook point. The shank is bare underneath. And you can slip that grub right off. And then you can use either a little piece of gulp or tip or put a little piece of live or dead bait on the hook shank. And then you put that top piece of rabbit back on. And so then you get the movement of the rabbit, it looks alive, and then you get uh, the smell or attractant from whatever you tipped your jig with. Okay, so that, and that's a profile that's about, you know, about two inches long. So if you're in a place like Mexico or Belize that has a lot of really small, a lot of smaller bonefish and you want something a little bit lower profile, use a puff bug. And so, a puff bug is just a little puff of rabbit um, and again the, sh the shank is bare um, and so it's easy it would be easy to tip a puff bug and create a small profile bonefish jig and so what it, so I've heard people tipping with squid with dead squid a little piece of dead squid a little piece of shrimp a little piece of conch or a little you know a gulp two inch shrimp they sell a two inch shrimp and you could just cut it down and so if you're going to tip your bonefish jig, the flats bug or the puff bug will be the easiest to tip. And so my feeling is this, you've spent thousands of dollars to go on a trip. You've flown hundreds, if not thousands of miles. If you want to give yourself the best chance of catching fish, uh, tipping your bonefish jigs is a good idea. And so I do my best to design them to where you don't have to tip them. Um, they look really good in the water but I know it won't hurt. And so, like I said, if, if you're, you're spending all that money, you're, you're traveling that great a distance, if you want to give yourselves the best chance of catching fish, um, you know, tip your bonefish jigs. Um, it makes sense. And so, like I said, the flats bug or the puff bug will be the easiest ones to, to tip. Be free, be wise, be blessed. Catch you later. Red. Thanks for playing.